Hello, I'm Sheehan Abbott, and welcome to Learn the Sword on TGN. This is a weekly show with a new episode every Friday, so just click below to view the whole program. Life comes at you fast, and being proficient allows you to adjust for anything that comes your way. Kihon, do a thousand repetitions of the technique every time you practice, when you practice, and over time, you will be more than proficient. Look over to your left and you see me. During this next thousand cuts, he will demonstrate the correct stances, timing, transitions, cuts, setups, grip, and everything that is encompassed with that. If for some reason you don't understand something, make it easy on your stuff. Stop, pause the tape, and repeat. That way, you can easily follow along. And if you have any problems, all you have to do is review a few times, and then you'll start going, ah, I see how this technique works now. Fundamental key is, Practice until your muscle memory sets in, and you will develop a much stronger core and foundation. Go ahead at this time and press the pause button, and go around trying to find something that represents a sword. If you don't have a sword in hand and still want to work out now instead of later, just grab something out of your pantry like a broom. After you've found your broom or mop, cut off about 40 inches. This 1000 strike series is made for everyone. It's made for the beginner. Just watch over here on this side as we go through the basic keyhole. We're going to work with you on how to hold the sword, how to stand with the sword. We're going to work with you on how to cut with the sword and work on all those basics that will allow you to get over to the other side and start practicing all the technique much faster. And review with me on this side. And when you finish some of your review, go over there to the other side and start executing those techniques. And for all of you who have practiced this sword for years, thank you very much for stopping on by. Just follow along with the patterns and enjoy, since you know how important the basics are. And think about it. If you practice 
an extra five, ten, or fifteen thousand strikes with the sword using the different patterns and techniques. Well, imagine what kind of badass you could be with a broomstick. And that's why this self-defense video is made for everyone. You will first begin by learning Hoppo Giddy Basics. These basics consist of 1. Gripping and handling the sword 2. Stances 3. Cutting patterns 4. Katas Let's go back to number one. Gripping the sword's handle is an essential part of correctly moving the sword. Which means you don't want to drop it. You want to grasp the handle and wield it in a strong, practical manner that will not telegraph your thoughts and intentions. Here, let me show you. With sword drawn, bring your hand, your right hand, and come into the top of the handle at about a 45 degree angle, grasping not with your hands, but with the tips of your fingers. Here is another view. Gripping a sword and gripping a hammer are almost identical. I am Sheehan Abbott, and I look forward to seeing you next Friday on TGN. Until our next lesson, be well.